Hello and welcome to this Electrical Principles training video. In this video we're going to continue considering our subject of SI units and in particular we're going to look at the SI units that relate to mechanical elements of our electrical installation course. So we're going to be looking at force, mass, weight and also work or work done. Now these are all to be used in conjunction with our worksheet which you can download from the link below so please click on that and download the worksheet if you haven't already done so and you'll be able to fill that in as we go through the video. Also stay tuned until the end of the video to see some typical exam questions and the solutions to those. Okay, so our first SI unit that we're going to look at in this video is that of force. Now, force is the measurement of the amount of push or pull that an object experiences. For the mathematical unit, we use a capital F. Force is measured in Newtons, named of course for Sir Isaac Newton, and we give it the unit symbol is a capital N, as you can see here. Now we often get asked, what is this thing a Newton? How much does one Newton represent? How much force is that? Well, the simplest way to illustrate it that I know of is just to take a typical apple. So this apple has a mass of about 100 grams. Uh, and by doing some calculations, which we're not going to worry about in this video, please see a, a future video for this mechanical uh, calculation relating to this. Uh, we find that this apple is being pulled down to the earth with a force of about one Newton. So if I hold that up in the air on my hand like that, then I'm having to push upwards at the moment with about one Newton just to keep it still, to stop it from falling to the ground. So in order to lift it, I have to exercise just a little bit more than one Newton in order to move it upwards. So if you go to your fruit bowl and pick up an apple, you're exerting about one Newton of force to get that apple out of the bowl and to your mouth. Now the next two SI units that we're going to be looking at often get confused with each other and I've actually made a whole video on the subject of mass versus weight and the difference between those two so please go and watch that if you'd like a little bit more information. What we're going to do now is just make sure that we've got the SI units for these straight. So mass is basically a measurement of how much of something there is. We give it the mathematical symbol M. Uh, we measure mass in kilograms and we give it the unit symbol uh, kg. Now notice that that is a lowercase k. That's quite important that that's lowercase rather than uppercase. You'll notice that this is uh, the first SI unit we've come across that has a prefix in the front of it. Uh, this kilo, which means a thousand. So the SI unit, the base unit for mass is 1000 grams. It's a little bit of an oddity in the SI system. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure why that is the case. So if anybody knows, then please feel free to comment below and enlighten me because I'd love to know that. But that is the base unit. So we don't need to convert that into grams if we're doing calculations with it. We leave it in kilograms. Closely related to this, but slightly different, is weight. Now, weight is the force that results from gravity acting on a mass, acting on an object. We use the mathematical symbol W, as you can see here. We measure weight in Newtons, and we give it the unit symbol capital N, just like we did for force. Now, the reason for this is that if you think about our apple that we looked at a little bit earlier, we saw that gravity was pulling on that mass of that apple and pulling it down to the earth. And likewise, as I'm standing here on the floor now, the earth is pulling me towards itself. The gravity of the earth is pulling me downwards. And that means that I'm exerting a force onto the floor below me. And that force is what we actually call weight. Now, this gets a little bit confused in people's minds because perhaps we're used to stepping on the scales and measuring our weight in kilograms or maybe even stones or pounds, depending on uh, where we're watching this and um, perhaps what generation we come from. Uh, but we, we kind of do get used to that and it's a little bit confusing the difference between them. So to clear that up, please go and watch that other video on mass versus weight because we do address that issue in there in a little bit more detail. But please try and remember uh, for your uh, multiple choice exam relating to this subject, uh, you need to remember that weight is a type of force and is therefore measured in Newtons. Now our final SI unit that we're gonna be looking at in this video is work or work done. Now this is actually, technically, it's the transfer of energy that occurs when an object is moved from one position to another position. 
We use the mathematical symbol W, we use the uh, joule as the SR unit for this, and therefore we use the unit symbol capital J. Now you'll notice that's the same as energy that we used in a previous video, and you'll even see that capital W there as our mathematical symbol is the same. In that video, we were looking at electrical energy. In this video, we're looking more at mechanical energy, and that's kind of why we call it work or work done. There's, uh, it's the same unit, it's measuring the same thing, but we just express it slightly differently depending on the context. So that's our worksheet filled in for this particular video. So hopefully you've got those four lines complete now. It should look something like this. You can see it on the screen now. Uh, so just take a moment to copy those down if you haven't already done so. And watch out for those uh, tricky exam questions. Again, you could be asked what is the SR unit or the mathematical symbol for any one of these areas that we've looked at. Uh, but the one that I think particularly catches people out is when you get asked what is the SR unit for weight. And you can guarantee that whoever wrote that exam question, they'll put on there, they'll put kilograms, they'll put stones, pounds, and then down at the bottom maybe they'll have newtons. So please try and remember, don't get confused, remember that weight is a type of force. It's the force that occurs when gravity pulls us down to the ground and therefore we measure weight in newtons because we're exerting a force on the ground below us. So hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, all that remains in this video is to say thank you very much for watching.